Dave Gardy here for Maritime TV at the Maritime Security Event on the floor of the Javits Center in New York. And with me is Mr. Angus Lugston, who is with a company called Coda Octopus, a really neat-sounding name because you do neat-sounding things. Tell us a little bit about the company, an overview, Angus. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Basically, we concentrate on uh, inspecting uh, subsea visualization in 3D in real time. So we, we, using our unique technology, we can image in zero visibility underwater things attached to harbor walls, pier structures, the hulls of ships, uh, underwater intruders. And each revolutionary, each ping we produce from a sonar is instantaneous 3D data. So even in the murkiest of waters, we can see what's happening uh, underneath the water surface. That's fascinating. He's got some fascinating equipment here. Give us an overview of some of the stuff that you've got over here, if you would. Yeah. The... Uh, a couple of things we got here. The main sensor is something called the Echoscope, which is this device here, which is a 3D real-time sonar. As you can see, it's not particularly big. Um, let's just turn it on the side there. We have a, a sonar transmitter here and a receiver array, and people use this. They'll mount it on a small pole on, uh, on the side of a vessel so they can scan down harbor walls and piers and berths so they can inspect the, the nature of the harbour and see if there's something there that shouldn't be attached to the harbour a mine-like object or 55-gallon oil drum full of explosive or perhaps some, some drugs you know, in, in a hollowed-out container. Likewise, it can also be mounted on an underwater robot to scan underneath a ship hull to produce a detailed 3D image of, of something that perhaps shouldn't be there as well. So instead of using divers hand over hand search, you've actually got something that's quantifiable data set that, you know, that, that can be produced and, and show detailed georeference data of, of a hull or a harbor bottom or a ship hull. And what are some of the product names we should be looking for that do these things you're talking about, especially the stuff that works in the murkiest of waters, totally dark water? That's fascinating. Yeah, the key words, I mean, we, we make something called the Echoscope, and it is a completely unique um, patented 3D sonar. And when we talk about 3D sonar, we're talking about instant 3D images. Most sonars that have been around for decades, uh, either 1D or 2D systems, that can produce you know, a 2D data product. Any sonar can produce a 3D image by, by moving and building up that image. But what we can do is every single ping we generate, which generates over 16,000 data points every ping, and up to 15 times a second, each one of those is a 3D image. That's fascinating. Show us some of the stuff you've got over here on the computer, and then we'll go over and look at what that 3D image looks like. There's a number of things that we can do. Uh, I mentioned about it being mounted uh, to, to look for um, uh, objects attached to a ship hull. If I just click on play on here, this is a, a ship hull here. And this was done with one single pass of the remotely operated vehicle, the underwater robot, underneath the ship hull. And you can see the propeller shafts, the props, the rudders. And there's an actual object we've placed on the hull of the vessel, which is a limpet mine-sized target. And as we zoom out here, we'll, we'll zoom in and see the target. The unique thing about this is this is producing a single pass. So every single data point on that ship is known. So, for example, rather than do the traditional method of a hand-over-hand diver search and all you get is all clear boss we haven't found anything but there's no record of exactly where they've been this enables us to produce this real-time 3d image of what is on the ship hole and that can be transmitted back live to a command and control center so, so here in, we go in, sorry go ahead in one pass you were able to do that entire 3d and when it could have been in dark water correct in zero visibility water where you wouldn't even be able to see your hands we can see things in 3d and rotate our eye around them and start to ascertain and understand what they are that's amazing. Now, you guys have had a lot of attention here at the booth, and it's because of this uh, video that you've been playing over here. What's going on over here? There's a couple of images on the screen. Can you explain them a little bit? Yeah, this is some work we do. We work closely with the U.S. Coast Guard uh, Research and Development Center and uh, something called the Center for Ocean Technology down the University of South Florida. And we teamed up with these guys, and this is some stuff from the, uh, the Super Bowl when it was held in Jacksonville. And they were scanning all the harbor walls and the, and the sides of the cruise ships to see if there's stuff that attached there that wasn't there. And you can see the pole that was lowered into the, into the water. And you can see them producing these 3D images of the bases of the bridges and the harbor. And this looks like a propeller here. Yeah. So this is just one snapshot of a propeller that's just rotating around. Uh, and they use this for the Super Bowl. They use this for the, some of the, the underwater security at the Super Bowl. Not many people realized it was happening, but prior to the Super Bowl, right on the run-up to kickoff on Sunday, they were scanning the harbor walls to see if there's something there that shouldn't be there. Now, just to clarify, you are a United States company. Uh, just give us an overview of some of the customers you have. Yeah, correct. We're, we're a small public company. 
um, uh, base headquarters in New York. We have an operational base in Florida as well. Uh, we work with the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Coast Guard, the port authorities, other government organizations, as well as uh, commercial companies. We've got four systems, four echoscope systems in use in the Gulf of Mexico at the moment that are being used to, to map all the damage from, from the hurricane from Hurricane Katrina. There's a whole, you know, all the oil platforms are tangled up mess down there. So the oil rigs that are lost, you can now go find them no matter how black the water is. Well, it's not so much that, that they're lost. They know where they are, but they don't know what damage that has been sustained to them. So they're able to navigate around the structure in 3D and very quickly map out what's actually happened down there so they know which bits to cut. Oh, that's, that's great. Well, that's great. And what are some of the future applications you're looking at as this technology evolves? Have you looked, thought about that? There's, there's a lot of applications, particularly along the along security side. I mean, the, the, the focus on port security has been very strong in the last 12 months, as many people know. But you know, it's been slow to be funded, particularly in, in the U.S. Um, there's a big focus on the ports, particularly for some of the countries around the world, not just the U.S., but the you know, U.S.-friendly countries that rely on all their imports and exports going out of ports. Uh, one of the big focuses at the moment is the liquid natural gas um, terminals with these huge ships coming in full of liquid natural gas. And it, obviously, as you can imagine, it is a potential terrorist target. So anything really to looking at pre preventing terrorism uh, underwater. So in other words, on the LNG ships, we'll be able to scan the hulls to see if there's any bombs that have been attached to them or anything like that. Correct. Absolutely. That's great. Another application, because with the 40 LNG ports they're looking at in the United States, that is going to be an application. You're going to be a small, growing company, public yep. company. Very good. Lungs, and Mrs. Angus Lungson, I'm sorry to mess up your name, the strategic development exec for Coda Octopus, a company that's attracting a lot of attention here at Maritime Security Show 2006. I'm Dave Gardy. Stay tuned for more. Thank you, Angus. Thank you very much. We'll be back.